Dear students, you are welcome to the Education Department at Chad Association. Our lesson today is about remarkable lines in a triangle. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more lessons and don't forget to click the bell to stay notified. Our objectives for this lesson to define and construct the three medians and three heights in any triangle and their concurrent point, to define and construct the three perpendicular and angular y sectors in any triangle and their concurrent point, and finally, you will be able to construct the circle circumscribed about a triangle. Drawing medians. We had recalled in the Engage and Explore section how we can draw an angular y sector of an angle and how we can draw a perpendicular y sector of a segment. Now we will use the same concepts, but this time inside a triangle. And let's start by drawing medians. We have a triangle ABC. We want to draw the medians of this triangle. So the first step we should plot the midpoint of each side in triangle. Second step, we want to join the midpoint of each side to its opposite angle. So the midpoint of AC, we plot it, and we join a line from this point to the to opposite angle of this side, which is angle B. Again, we plot the midpoint of side BC and we join this midpoint with the opposite vertex of this side. And we do the same for the last side. This point I is the point joining the medians of triangle and it's called centroid or the center of gravity for this triangle. Now we will learn how to draw heights for any triangle. Who can tell me how many heights we have in this triangle? Previously, we have seen three medians for the triangle. And of course, we have three heights for any triangle. Let's learn now how we can draw these heights. The first height, we need to put the side of such square adjacent to line AC and the other side pass through B. Second step, we need to draw a line passing through B to the opposite side AC. And this is the first height. Second height, we need to put the side of such square, this time adjacent to BC, and the other side passing through A. And again, we need to draw a line passing through A to the opposite side BC. And we do the same for the third height. And these are the three heights for this triangle. So the three drawn heights intersect in one point G, and this point is called orthocenter of triangle ABC. Now let's learn how we can draw a perpendicular y sector of a segment by using ruler and set square, which will be the first method. So first, we need to locate the midpoint of segment AB, and to do that, we need a ruler to measure the length of segment AB. So if the length of segment AB is 10 cm, the half of length will be equal to 10 cm over 2, because we said half. So we must divide the total length of segment AB by 2. And the midpoint will be away 5 cm from point A. We can measure
So what we can do to draw the three perpendicular bisectors for a triangle by using the first method, of course. Exactly. We need to repeat the same steps that we have learned in the previous slide, but this time for each side of a triangle. So we need first to plot the midpoint of each side of triangle. Second step, we need to draw a perpendicular bisector from each midpoint by using set square, of course. This is the first perpendicular bisector. And this is the second one. And the third one, we can directly join the midpoint of segment or of side BC by the intersection point of the previous two lines. So, the three perpendicular bisectors are concurrent at one point X called circumcenter, which is the center of the circle circumscribed about a triangle. And later we will learn how we can draw this circumscribed circle. Now we will learn how we can draw a perpendicular bisector of a segment by using a compass, which will be the second method. First step, we need to put the compass at point A and draw an arc starting from the top and ending at the bottom. You should keep the compass at the same open distance and to put it again at the point B and draw an arc starting from the top again and ending at the bottom. Final step, you only need to join the two points of intersection of the two arcs, of course, by using ruler. And we got a perpendicular bisector. But you should keep in mind that the opening distance of compass must be greater than the half of length of a segment AB, otherwise the two arcs will not be intersected. And I advise you to try this at home. Now let's draw the three perpendicular bisector and triangle by using the second method or by using a compass of course. If you want to start by drawing the perpendicular bisector for side AB, we need to put the pin of the compass at point A and we draw an arc. Please keep in your mind that the open distance of a compass should be constant while you are moving from point A to point B to draw the another arc. So we draw the another arc from point B and we join the two intersection points. So we got the first perpendicular bisector for side AB. We do the same for side BC. This is the first arc. And this is the second arc from point C. And again, we join the two points of intersection. Again, we do the same for side AC. We draw an arc from point A. And this is the second arc from point C. And again, we join the two points of intersection for the two arcs. After we have learned how we can draw the three perpendicular bisectors for any triangle, now we will learn how we can draw the circumscribed circle about any triangle. So assume that we have a triangle ABC. The three drawn perpendicular bisectors meet in one point M. This point M should be the center of circle circumscribed about this triangle. Now we put the pin of the compass at point M and the other end at one vertex of triangle, for example, vertex A or vertex B or you can put it at vertex C. Now we can draw a circle and this circle must pass through all the endpoints of a triangle ABC. And this circle is called circumscribed circle about a triangle ABC. 
drawing an angular bisector. Now we will learn how we can draw an angular bisector for any angle. Assume that we have an angle ABC. To draw an angular bisector for angle B, we need to put the compass at point B and draw an arc to meet of two sides of the angle at P and Q. Again, we need to put the compass at point B and draw an arc. We keep the compass at the same open distance and we draw an another arc from point Q. The two arcs will intersect at one point, we call it N. Now we can join B by N to get an angular bisector BN for an angle ABC or for an angle B. Now let's draw the three angular bisectors in a triangle by using the same steps. But this time, of course, for each angle of this triangle. So to draw an angular bisector for angle uh, B, for example, we need to put the compass at B and draw an arc meeting the adjacent sides. We put the compass at the point of intersection and draw two intersecting curves at N. And of course, we have two points of intersection with two adjacent sides. Then again, the last step as previous, we join a point B with N by using ruler, of course, and we got the first angular bisector BN for an angle ABC. Now we put the compass at A and draw an arc meeting the two adjacent sides again. Again we put the compass at the point of intersection and draw two intersecting curves at point M. We join A with the intersecting point M and the last angular bisector you can draw it directly by joining the intersection point of the previous two angular bisectors by the point C. Thank you guys for watching. Please try to contact with me if you have any question about this lesson. Try to solve the worksheet and send me your answers. Stay safe and good luck. If you liked this lesson, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more. And don't forget to click the bell to get all the updates.